So hi guys, it's Zyant again, and this is a little different. First of all, let me apologize for the lack of content. I haven't been playing many of many recordable games, because I haven't found one that I really, really enjoy. And if I'm not enjoying a game, I'm not going to play it. If I'm not playing a game, I'm not recording it. If I'm not recording it, I'm not bringing you guys anything new. So, yeah, this is older footage, and if you come from PTG, you saw my Deadbringer gameplay, which is one of the better gameplays, still a lot of things watching it back that I knew I could have done better, but for what it was, for what being extremely rusty at Spy, I think it did okay. But as usual, that is not what I want to talk about today, because when have I talked about as a topic when I started talking about the beginning of the video? Instead, I want to talk about something that is going to indulge my geeky side something fierce, and I hope you will forgive me for that. I've been want I like anime occasionally, I don't watch it compulsively, but I, I like it well enough. And I've been watching a new one called Kill the Kill. And I looked it up on Wikipedia because I thought it would be a good idea to know where I was going. And it turns out that Wikipedia classifies it as a magical girl anime. And I'm not going to go into what that means because I'm not really sure what precisely it means. But I will say that at, at the time I was, as I was watching it and when I came up with the topic for this commentary, I was thinking, golly. There are a lot of magical girl animes that are changing up what it means to be an anime, what it, what it means to innovate, what it means to come up with new ideas with a, a shorter budget. And it got me thinking that there are certain genres that once you get into them, create such a wonderful field for innovation and just general creativity. And I was talking to a buddy of mine and he said, wait, 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 Zion. The magical girl anime genre is really, really old. It's 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 one of it's one of the original anime anime genres, not 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 including like something like Dragon Ball Z or Astro Boy. It's Sailor Moon would qualify, and that's from the early early '90s, maybe even earlier than that, depending on when you look at uh, when it came in in the American scene. And I thought he's right, but at the same time, you have these animes that are that are doing such new and creative things, Madoka Magica being one of them just was one of this really strange, uh, a post-apocalyptic, or even just a regular apocalyptic. Then you have Kill a Kill, which, if we're going to follow the idea that it is Magical Girl, and indeed, if it is, it's a very different kind. It's not Save the World, it's not anything, it's a, it's a revenge story first. And that got me thinking about what it takes to re-enliven some sort of medium. And we look back at gaming, for example, and we see things like Call of Duty 4 and Halo 3 releasing pretty much at the same time, and completely revolutionizing, or at least revitalizing, the shooter scene. On console, at least. Quake, was, I know, was still going pretty strong. But again, we have these, these games that create a new, a new, new possibilities, and a, a new communities that did not exist before, and create, and, and put gaming and its other types of media on the map, so to speak. Counter-Strike and Quake notwithstanding, it wasn't really until Call of Duty that mainstream gaming got a lot of the press, bad or good, that it does. And, of course, the mimetic stuff that happens because of gaming would not have been here, in, at least in part because of things like Call of Duty or, say, Halo. And, of course, I've mentioned Quake. And I've mentioned Doom, and I, I, I'm going to mention now Wolfenstein, simply to say that the shooter genre is not new. It is not. It was very iterative for a long time. And then Wolfenstein comes along and, and sort of brings it back into the fore, and then Quake comes along, and Doom, and takes it to a whole new level. The magical girl genre, for me, is taking anime to a whole new level. It's, it's pushing the ba It's helping to push the boundaries of what creative people can do with that with their series. But as we look at gaming's current situation, that is to say, where the shooter is going, you have COD 4 and you have Halo, very pared down, very simplistic, very good, very strong core titles that, for the most part, did everything that needed they needed to do. And people are complaining nowadays that the Call of Duties and the Halos and all of that, they're, they're far too complex. We don't like the sci-fi. We don't like the extra mechanics. We don't like the fact that it's going all this different distance. And I'm wondering why. 
why all of the complaints about trying to push a genre in a new direction? We had the complaint back in the day that the modern warfare genre had, was tired, that the World War II genre was tired, that we were done being with World War II. Could not the same be said of our current situation? Could not the same be said of the modern warfare genre, that it is in fact entirely, entirely played out? And when you have an anime like Dragon Ball Z that is exceedingly <laughs> played out, but you still have tons of animes uh, emulating it. And the same could be said, of course, for Call of Duty. Crisis initially was a very different game than Crisis 2 or Crisis 3. Much more open, much much less linear. But you had games emulated call, emulating Call of Duty like it was candy. And you have animes replicating Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon like they were candy. And games replicating Doom like they were candy. Indeed, uh, Xbox Ahoy recently did a video on the Commodore Amiga and how its Doom was essentially heralded by the arrival of games like Doom and all of the Doom clones that the Amiga simply couldn't handle. And so the world moved on. Could the same be said of Sailor Moon? Could the same be said of Dragon Ball Z? Did the world move on from these genres? I would claim that it has not. I would claim also that games like Final Fantasy that have to this point, lost sight of what made them great. And a lot of people have lost, if not sight, then interest in the series. I would say that people have not moved on. People like me who hold out for the return to glory of games like that. I think there is a place for the magical girl anime genre because it's doing such interesting things. I think there's a place, always will be a place for the first person shooter because it does such interesting things. And so I hope you've enjoyed this ramblementary. I'll talk about anime some more in the future, I'm sure. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.